Hi, this is David Dusick, and I'm joined today by Brian Basil from TaylorMade Adams Golf. How are you doing, Brian? Doing great, thanks. Cool. You got a hybrid there. That is the uh, Adams Tight Lies Hybrid. Tell me a little bit about uh, about this club. Well, it's uh, first and foremost, you can see it's got a, a very shallow face. Mm -hmm. So Adams is all about creating products that's easy to get the ball up in the air mm -hmm. uh, for all golfers. So the, the shallow face and the trisole design allows you to get the, the club really under the ball so you can get the ball up in the air. And tight lies is just synonymous for doing that. It started with a fairy wood and now actually offering the hybrid, people are, are really excited by trying this product out. Um, it has a lot of technology in it. You know, we don't often talk about it. We just want you to be able to hit the ball up in the air right. with Adams. But right. it has a velocity slot in the sole, mm -hmm. and it has a ghost slot. You can sort of see it, hence the name, ghost right. slot. But a dress, you're not going to see that slot in the top. I no. know a lot of people had not liked seeing a slot in the crown, but you've solved that problem. Exactly. I mean, the feedback's been, uh, hey, we love the performance of the, of the Adams product, but mm -hmm. hey, we're not so sure we like looking at that in the crown. And so, you know, our engineers really worked hard on sort of developing a a technology that provided the performance and getting the ball up in the air with the with the ghost with the slot in the, in the, in the crown really hiding it nicely. Gotcha. Talk to me a little bit real quickly about what those slots do, not just the one on the bottom, but yeah. by having one on the top and the bottom yeah. sort of magnifying each other, I would sure. assume. Sure. Well, the, the one in the bottom really does unlock the face to flex a little bit more and, and really spreads the, the, the sweet spot out. Um, that's the velocity slot. Okay. And that's what we call velocity. You're getting some more speed. Right. And then the, the ghost slot, and the slot in the crown, really enables the, the face to flex in a way that creates the higher launch. Okay. And so with an Adams product, it, I mean, it just that's exactly what we're trying to do. Right. So it's a perfect technology for the tight lies. Now you've got another club over mm -hmm. here, which is relatively new as well yeah. from Adams, and different one. In some ways, a little bit of a throwback, but with a, a little bit of an interesting twist here with yeah. red. Yeah. The, the throwback is right here, right? When the you shape. set it down, the shape is... You know, it's it's just lines up with some of the most popular Adams hybrids of their time. Mm -hmm. So, setting it down, the better players, the average players, they just they just fell in love with this sort of teardrop, high toe, yep. really nice uh, pear if, shape. If, to if you've had an average hybrid in the past, this yep. is gonna be a very familiar look to you with, yep. with this new club. No, absolutely. And then when you look at the sole, you go, oh my gosh, there's just obviously this big red, red anodized sole plate here mm -hmm. covers. Uh, three different weights. There's a 25 gram tungsten weight and two two gram sort of uh, polymer weights, so okay. really lightweight. And you have the ability to sort of shift that big heavy weight around by just taking that red plate off and dialing in, controlling your left to right in terms of uh, in, in this hybrid. This, this, this velocity slot in the sole is still here. It's a little bit more hidden, mm -hmm. you know, in the red and yep. the ghost slots here, which is also sort of hidden. So yep. we're so those technologies are still applying. They still help this product perform and get the ball up in the air. But the one that you're really going to see is the one in the sole underneath that red anodized plate. How much do you think this is going to appeal to accomplished players, PGA Tour guys? Are they going to be playing something like this? Or yeah. do you think this is more for the really higher handicapper players? Well, honestly, the, the Tour players have, have just now seen this. They're just now testing it out. And they are through the, the roof in terms yeah. of excitement for this product. Gotcha. It delivers upon the sound, the feel and the, the adjustability to dial it in. Having adjustability, I mean, you're going from a precision club, I mean, yep. this looks like an iron type hybrid, an iron replacing type of a hybrid. Yep. Precision to be able to, to tinker around with those ways to get your ball flight just yep. right has got to be something that's going to appeal, I would imagine, to a lot of those type of players. No, absolutely. I mean, it's about proximity to the hole, right? It's yeah. about getting it closer. And, and if you're replacing a, a, a long iron with a hybrid, that hybrid better be as controllable, if not more controllable, than your iron. And so by utilizing these technologies and being able to dial it in, mm -hmm. it, you know, it truly is a better product than a long iron for all the capabilities it has. Gotcha. He's Brian Basil. I'm David Dusek. Thanks very much for joining us on GolfWeek.com.